Hello, it's Kim, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to play Red Dead Redemption, one of the best games of the 7th generation on PC with the Xenia Canary, the Xbox 360 emulator. Since this game is pretty intensive, I'm also going to show you some mods that improve performance in this game by disabling certain effects. Of course, the game looks worse, but the performance would be much much better. Since we are going to use some community patches, we're going to use the Xenia Canary version, not the master version, because Canary only supports the patches. Go to this website and download Xenia Canary by pressing the latest release. Click on xeniacanary.zip and wait for it to download. When it's downloaded, make a new folder where Xenia will be installed and just extract the right folder. After this, close the window and you're basically done with the installation process. Now, just launch Xenia Canary to see if it runs. If it does, close it, go to your documents folder Xenia and open up Xenia Canary config.toml. I usually use open it with Notepad, but you can use any text editor that you want. Now, if you want the game to run at more than 30 FPS, or rather to be unlock at unlocked FPS, find VSync and set it to false. This will unlock the FPS, so if you have a good enough PC, you can run it at more than 30 FPS. Close it and save. Since Xenia developers don't support piracy, you will need to legally dump this game from yours on somebody else's Xbox 360. So I cannot capture video on console, I will leave an excellent guide in the description of this video showing you how to properly and legally dump this game from your Xbox 360. To run the game, open xeniacanary.exe, press file, open, and find the location where your Red Dead Redemption is, and open up default.xx. Alright, so the game is running. Now, if you want to improve your performance, you will, do, you will need to install community patches that will drastically increase your performance. To do that, go to this website, press download, and download zip. You will get a game patches main zip folder, which will contain patches for many games that you can use if you want. This index we're only interested in Red Dead Redemption, so we're going to go to the folder where Xenia, Xenia Canary is, make a new folder called Patches, and paste, well, for this instance, we'll place all the patches. After this is done, you need to find the version of the game that you have. For example, if you have Rider Redemption, the Game of the Year edition, you're going to go to this and edit it. Now, here we can enable your patches. The patches that we're interested in is Skip Grass Occlusion, which gets rid of the gra grass entirely, as it says. While this makes the game much uglier, it increases performance, especially in areas such as Mexico, where performance is really bad. We can also disable Depth of Field and Motion Blur, which, while they don't increase performance that much, they make the game much prettier, actually, since Motion Blur in Red Dead looks awful. If you're still not satisfied with the performance you're getting, you can also use the mod to disable shadows and reflections. Of course, this makes the game much much uglier, but it also gives improved improve performance. I will going to, I'm going to link the patches for both the GOATI, the Game of the Year version, and the base version of the game. To install it, open it, and copy-paste this to the RDR directory. Uh, just press the install.bat file and wait for it to do its thing. Since I already have this patch, I'm not going to install it again. Close all of this and now you can open Xenia Canary, press file, open the default.xx file and now let's check, if, let's check to see if the game is running. I'm going to speed this up. And yeah, if you want, you can speed up the game by pressing plus and slow it down, press minus. Now, uh, since the game uses shaders, obviously, every time you go to a different area, the game will need to compile its shaders and you have a stutter. Unfortunately, the only way to get against, get past against the stutter is to play the game. Since I don't have my save files here, I'm going to start the first mission of the game, Exodus in America.
as you can see, this is the stutter I'm talking about. Unfortunately, it happens every time you play through an area for the first time, but after a while, you won't experience these times. I'm going to skip the cutscene, just to get a game. Now, I also have the trainer by Jedi Just Rang, but it's unnecessary. Yeah, I use it for modding, which has a lot to play around with the game, but if you want to play the game for the story, just play like this. Alright, as you can see, the game is already stuttering, but after a while, when the game is loaded, stuttering will stop. <clears throat> you can clearly see there's no motion blur, the shadows are mostly missing, and the grass is also missing. As you can see, I'm going to just enable this ability and do this for fun. I just tried to boomerang me, who made this patch set, made me aware that it's impossible to mod, right, that I'm trying to do. Alright, as you can see, the game is working, so that's it for today's video, hope you enjoyed, like, share and subscribe, goodbye.